Hey guys, how are you doing? Um, so today, since everyone's kind of quarantined, isn't it? Since uh, going out and shooting that much isn't really that much of a possibility, I'm going to do something a little bit different. Um, I'm trying to shoot as much as I can, uh, particularly at home. I've been shooting a lot of still life. I've been trying to shoot uh, some portraits indoors. I've been trying to shoot whatever I can when I'm out and about going for a walk. Um, but it is quite restrictive. And the biggest restriction that I have at the moment is I'm staying with my partner, uh, I'm not in my own house. And so I don't have any of my chemicals, I don't have any of my developing equipment, I don't have my scanner. And so any film that I shoot right now, um, I can't see it until this is all over, until I'm back in my house and I can work through all the roles that I am shooting. So what I wanted to do in the meantime, so I could see something immediately, I've been shooting some uh, insects, I've been shooting some Polaroid film, which I'll probably do a video on. Um, I've also been trying to shoot a little bit of digital. So what I'm going to do today, I find one of my biggest problems with digital is I really kind of don't connect with it in the same way that I do with film. Um, I don't feel as kind of inspired when I'm out walking around. I find that I sort of struggle to find things that I'm interested in taking pictures of. So today I'm going to head out with my digital camera and I'm going to try and shoot it the way I would a film camera. So I'm going to do a few different things. The first one and kind of the most obvious is uh, I'm using manual focus film lenses. So I've got two lenses with adapters for my Canon 5D Mark III. The first one is an OM series lens. It's a 28mm 2.8. It's a nice wide angle, super sharp, really cool lens. Um, and then I have a bit of a wild card. This is a Helios 44M. Uh, it's a 58mm uh, Soviet made lens. Um, really renowned for kind of being quite sharp in the middle and then having this weird sort of swirling bokeh. Uh, I've never actually shot it. I'm sort of fixing a camera for a friend at the minute and it came on it. So I bought an adapter, found it onto my digital, and I'm going to have a little play with that as well. Uh, the next thing that I'm going to do to try and make it feel a bit more like film is I've set my camera to ISO 400. I'm going to keep it at that. Um, and a bit like with the choice between colour or black and white, I'm going to shoot probably about 12 photos I decided while I'm out and about, making quite a free fall. But the first six will be colour, the second six uh, will be black and white. So I'll compose them all in the screen the same way with kind of a brown glass, the same way with a waist level viewfinder um, in colour. And then the last six I'm going to convert straight to black and white and then kind of retouch them from there. So it gives it that same kind of feeling of uh, some slight restrictions. I've decided my ISO before I go out, I've decided uh, how I'm going to shoot. And then from there it makes me think a little bit more about it. It makes me think a little bit more about what I choose to photograph. Um, the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use the uh, live view, I'm not going to focus to the viewfinder um, just because it simulates kind of having a ground glass and a flip up magnifier because I can zoom in a little bit, particularly this um, the lens doesn't work properly at the minute so I'm stuck at f2, focusing this with my bad eyesight through the viewfinder is just not going to be fun at all. So I'm going to head out, have a wander around, take some pictures um, and see if I can kind of connect with digital a little bit more and I'll bring you guys along. So I'm filming this at, uh, at the end of my, my little walk because I didn't want to stop and have to stand and film when I'm trying to also keep my distance from people. Um, but one thing that I did while I was out is I thought about how it is that I shoot when I shoot on film. And one of the things I quite often do, particularly if I'm shooting color negative film, something like Portrait, is I'll intentionally overexpose the film. The reason I overexpose it is because I quite like having my shadows with a lot of detail in them, having them quite lifted 
um, and having that slightly flatter kind of soft pastel look to it. Um, if you overexpose on a digital camera, you'll very clip, quickly clip the highlights um, and it will look bad, you won't be able to recover them. So I actually did the opposite to get the same effect. So on the next uh, little clip, I'll show you the before and after of uh, before and after I edited it. Um, and what I did was slightly underexposed it. And the reason I underexposed it is because I know I can always pull that detail out of the shadows, uh, but it retains my highlights. So I can then lift the shadows up and I can get that slightly flatter image um, that I would expect from something like overexposed portrait. So after my walk, um, I've had a little look at the images while I was walking around. Again, like film, what I tried to do was not look at the back of the camera after I took a picture. I turned it off uh, where it flashes up with a preview straight after taking. Um, and I didn't look at any of the images until I got back, until I was done, until I was committed to them. Um, there's a few in there I quite like. Uh, there's a few that I really just don't think work. It's a bit hit or miss. But it was nice to get out, it was nice to use a camera and to see the results uh, fairly quickly, the same way if I went out and shot a roll of film that immediately developed it at home. Um, so it kept me kind of thinking, kept me shooting it. It's something that I'll probably go out and do again before this is over. Um, I'm also gonna keep shooting instant film because I've been really enjoying that as well. But I definitely recommend it. If you're stuck at home, if you can't get your film to a lab, if you can't develop it yourself right now, um, go out with your digital. It's a medium the same as film. I think it's well worth shooting a lot of people completely disregard it if they do shoot film and I know that I am uh, pretty guilty of that but it was nice to get out and just see some results whether they're digital whether they're film whether they're instant uh, Polaroid film um, it keeps you shooting I think that's the important thing right now so thanks for watching guys I hope everyone's staying safe uh, if you did enjoy this if you do want to see more hit subscribe we've got uh, I'm gonna do a video on instant photography I'm shooting film while I'm stuck in it'll just be a little while until I can develop it and put it out uh, so if you want to see more, hit subscribe and uh, take care.